today I have yet another unboxing video for you. Uh, I made an uh, order from uh, Secret Garden and I'm super super excited to see how it uh, looks like. You will see that uh, recently I got really really, really into vendacious orchids. As always this is packed super good. See if I can break it. guys like this it's such a hard salatate that the salad tape is really really a uh, solid one let's say it's a bit harder for me to unpack this package but we are getting there all right then so let's see what i have in here as always a lot a lot of scotch tape how much uh, scotch tape these uh, guys are using every single time they are doing uh, shippings what I have in here. Gosh, there is so much paper. Oh, it is so pretty. I really want to unpack it without uh, harming the bars or the plant itself. And I really hope I am in focus. Yeah. As I was saying, I will bring you a bit closer. There you go. I really love this color. I really like how they packed it this time. Really nice. I have some uh, greener wood tips. Come on. guys and here it is I really hope uh, I am in focus too much in focus actually 
Alrighty, so here it is. I have a gorgeous orange Vanda. This is the Vanda uh, Nacha Orange or Mandarin. I don't really remember. I will put you the name on the screen. But look at these long roots. She is so, so healthy. The blooms have a, a sort of a fragrance, but I don't think they are actually fragrant, but the package uh, materials were. And I have two kikis. How pretty is that? And it seems that uh, they can bloom at a very young age because the uh, second uh, spike, this one, it is from the um, from one of the cakes at the base. I won't ever separate this. She is a lovely plant. And here is the other one, which uh, should pretty much uh, do the same thing. So uh, I might actually have uh, one more... Uh, one more spike in uh, the near future. Let's check the other uh, bracts. Yeah, this seems to be all at the moment, but she is actually very beautiful. I have a bud inside the... Here it is. So it seems that a bud... Come on! I don't really know what uh, is happening with uh, this camera this time. <laughs> Uh, I'm so sorry for that. So as as uh, I was saying, I have two lovely spikes. One is coming from this cake, which uh, is not really all that mature. It is a young one. Let's try to count its leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight leaves, and uh, it uh, has already produced a spike. And this one has what? One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine leaves. So uh, this uh, cake is capable also of uh, producing a spike. I really love this color. It really reminds me of mandarins. It is a gorgeous orchid, gorgeous and healthy one. Unfortunately, um, here I see a marking, and I'm not sure if it is a fungal infection or if uh, it was maybe uh, sun damage, who knows, we will see. It is a bit dusty, so I will go and rinse it really, really well. And now we will continue with the unboxing. purchased a bag of uh, some um, bark it is for uh, orchids from Cameloon um, I am uh, not sure if I will actually like this brand uh, I know I grow uh, inorganic most of my collection but sometimes some orchids do need to be potted in bark for example if you have an orchid which um, grows um, in a basket because uh, it um, for example I have the Vanda or um, I don't know Ostanhopia, Dracula you might actually need to mix bark with moss or whatever you uh, like um, and uh, sometimes uh, it is useful to have some bark uh, around so I just bought uh, some and uh, this uh, let's see what it says it is made from uh, pine bark, Pinus uh, maritima, quarpit and fertilizers based on calcium and magnesium and other fertilizers. Hmm. It says the pH uh, should be about uh, in between 5 and 6.5 and uh, you should repot the orchid after about 2 years of staying in this medium. This uh, actually really depends on how you grow it because if you grow uh, an orchid constantly moist, the medium will uh, decompose faster. And uh, if you really water her uh, very rarely or you have a very good uh, wet dry cycle, the bark, the bark will um, decompose slower. So it uh, really depends on many factors. Here 
I actually know what it is. Uh, this is a glass vase. Uh, I needed uh, one more glass vase for the bigger uh, Vanda. Or for this one, I will see actually. Um, anyway, uh, I do need uh, another uh, glass vase for one of them. And uh, fortunately for me, they had uh, one on stock, the last one. So, we will see what roots uh, she can hold. So here it is. It uh, is uh, quite nice. Uh, I uh, actually know that this uh, glass vase was used for another Vanda, so I will go and sterilize it before uh, checking uh, if uh, my Vandas do fit inside or not. But uh, if uh, we can see that uh, this one, uh, for example, would uh, fit pretty much perfectly and the bigger one uh, a bit more snug. So I might actually put the orange banda in here and the uh, uh, maroonish one. Um, I will uh, see if I can build a, a basket for her, I will see. So much package stuff in here all the time. Okay guys, and here it is how my pretty panda is looking like. She is gorgeous. I really managed to put her in the glass face, but I barely, barely could snuck her in because she has a great root system. So I made a, a sort of a circle on uh, with the roots on the diameter uh, or with the diameter of the um, glass vase, and then I push pushed her in uh, when I already had water inside. You can see the water is sort of greenish. This is because the roots have on them quite a lot of algae, but uh, those um, things will wash away uh, with uh, two to three waterings, <laughs> let's say. What I am doing when I am purchasing Vandas, it is uh, the first time uh, I uh, soak them for, um, um, let's say, overnight, but now uh, it's about two o'clock, so maybe I will leave uh, it uh, till uh, 12 uh, p.m. let's say and uh, then uh, I will um, uh, take the water out. I am submerging them in calcium uh, at about uh, 300 ppm because this really boosts a lot the um, uh, roots to grow very very nice and uh, I have seen great results doing this uh, as I said. Here I am not really sure what I have but I will uh, watch the orchid closely and see if it uh, spreads uh, and uh, in rest I cannot see really uh, more things other than some little uh, purplish spots in here which I think are from sunlight but please appreciate the beautiful color of the blooms they are amazing and here I can still see a lot a lot of buds that uh, are about to open the little one won't uh, develop uh, more but uh, that is okay it is just a cakey <laughs> it is beautiful absolutely beautiful i love this orange color so alrighty guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and uh, also if you missed the video where i talk about how to care for vanda orchids in glass vases uh, i will leave you a link in the comment section so you can go and check that video out thank you very much for watching and see you all next time bye